Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd just like to show you about six to eight keyboard shortcuts that I use now on a regular basis when I'm doing text editing inside of OneNote. And they all have to do with the same basic concepts around being able to create lists. Because well, let's face it, if you are creating notes about something, the odds are very good that some of those notes will be lists, right? Like it'll be a list of uh, next steps, right? Or it'll be a list of um, competitors. Or it'll be a list of, you know, um, possible vendors. Okay, so we have these uh, ideas about making lists, next steps, competitors, vendors, attendees, et cetera, et cetera. You get the picture. Now you could, every time you need to make a list and you hit enter, you go up and take your mouse up here and use the bulleted list, use the numbered list buttons up here. But I want you to notice that we have two keyboard shortcuts. Uh, one of them is control period for bullet point lists. And one of them is control slash for numbered lists. So if we have next steps, for example, we could do control slash and we'd see the numbered list option there. We'd say our next steps are um, to uh, call creative firms and then uh, map out possible scripts and then um, budget for uh, creative ideas or under competitors again hit the uh, enter key here and then control period and then the competitors are acme uh, corp uh, mmla and uh, raytheon okay so we have this first level which is control period and control slash now, an interesting thing that we can do here, if uh, we go under possible vendors, for example, if we decide that we want to use control slash to do a numbered list, then immediately hitting control period can switch it over to a bulleted list. And so here we might do something like uh, the vendors are ABC Inc, um, XYZ Creative, and Reynolds Corp. Now the next part of this process is what happens when you decide that something needs to be restructured. So for instance here, call creative firms, map out uh, possible scripts, and budget for creative ideas. Well, one of the things you might decide to do is map out the scripts first and then call the creative firms once you have the scripts in hand. So notice here if I'm just selected somewhere in the second step and I decide that the second step needs to actually become the first step. The keyboard shortcuts here are all holding down the Alt key and the Shift key and then using the arrows. So if mapping out possible scripts needs to be the first entry, that's Alt Shift up arrow and as you can see there now map out possible scripts is the first entry up at the top if i move down here to budget for creative ideas and i hit control shift excuse me alt shift up you can see i can make that the second step and alt shift down i can put it back to the second step and the same thing goes for these bulleted lists over here if mmla is our most important competitor alt shift up and now MMLA is listed first in the list of competitors. Next up, maybe um, let's say XYZ Creative right here has a couple of subordinate elements underneath it. Well, when I hit enter on my keyboard, I get the bulleted list entry directly below XYZ Creative, and I can use the tab key in order to indent it further and shift tab to put it back. So tab to indent closer, and maybe this will be the um, social, and then enter, and this will be the, um, the local, and then hit enter, and this will be the mobile. Okay, so these are the different divisions of XYZ Creative, and I can use the tab and shift tab keys in order to indent further or decrease the level of indentation. And then finally, and, and this one was a lot of fun for me, you know, if you make a ton of lists, 
Sometimes those lists can just be noise at a certain point. So I want you to notice here that if I don't really need to see the attendees right now, one thing that I can do is I can go to the attendees entry over here and then a notice little icon that shows up here on the left. I can double click on this and it will collapse the attendees under that and I can double click on it again to expand that back out. But I also have a keyboard shortcut for this. So Alt Shift 1 goes to the first level. Alt Shift 2 goes to the second level. Alt Shift 3 for the third, for the fourth, etc. So notice here under possible vendors. Alt Shift 1 would collapse all the entries under possible vendors. Alt Shift 2 would give me XYZ Creative with a little plus sign next to it demonstrating that there were more elements underneath that. And Alt Shift 3 could expand that out. Now technically, going from Alt Shift 1, what I would do here is Alt Shift 0. Alt Shift 0 says, uh, I see that you've collapsed this. I'd actually like to go back from having it be collapsed and have it not be collapsed anymore. So Alt Shift 1 collapses it and Alt Shift 0 uncollapses. Is that a word? Sure, why not? So those are the keyboard shortcuts around dealing with lists inside of Microsoft OneNote.